What it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo, Doc Trey, still holding it down, still make the best games, and you know this, bro, it's the truth. If you don't like it, you can have that seat though. All right, so it's time to discuss this PlayStation 5 Pro that it looks like it's going to be coming out this year, I guess this November or whatever. It's been rumored for a while, but now it's looking like it's definitely official. It's going to be coming out. And according to the rumors or the leaks, uh, is rendering at a 45% faster rate than the original PlayStation 5 has two to three times ray tracing four times in some cases 33.5 teraflops PSSR PlayStation uh, spectral super resolution upscaling upscaling slash anti-aliasing solution support for resolutions up to 8k custom uh, machine learning architecture uh, artificial intelligence accelerator supporting 300 tops of 8-bit computation or 67 T-flops of 16-bit floating point. Now, first of all, 33.5 teraflops. But something to keep in mind also is the fact that uh, kind of outside the PlayStation 4, Sony likes to put out unattainable BS numbers that aren't really um, what the system's really able to achieve. And they've done this with every system outside of really the PlayStation 4. Like even with the PS3, they claim that that was a 1.8 uh, teraflop machine. And we all know that wasn't the case because the PlayStation 4, which is considerably more powerful than the PS3, is the 1.8 teraflop machine. So when they say, oh, it's 33.5 teraflops, in real world, world terms, you're probably going to be looking at a 16 teraflop machine when all is said and done. So probably like an Xbox Series X with a PlayStation 4 Pro duct tape to it. All right, so I'm finally gonna do a video on this subject because I hear this comment time after time after time and I've been hearing it for the last couple generations. And whenever a Nintendo fan is discussing specs, discussing graphics, some idiot comes in and says, how are you gonna be talking about graphics as a Nintendo fan? What's funny about that is that the average Nintendo fan actually knows a lot more about specs than Sony or Xbox fans. That is the hilarious part. 